Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday I've got a cool video showing you guys how to use blocks to uh, avoid uh, creating uh, the same object multiple times in AutoCAD. Uh, it can be a huge time saver and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it. So let's get started and here we go. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to go over how to create a block of an object or objects uh, that you're going to use multiple times in a drawing. The benefit of this is that if you need to run a count, you can select them, you can run block counts, uh, you can give them custom attributes, uh, and it also just helps uh, keep your drawing neat and tidy if you're making blocks of things you're reusing throughout the drawing. It also allows you to make a change to one of the blocks by editing the block and all of the other blocks will be updated as well. Uh, this can be a good and bad thing depending on how you've set up your drawing, but knowing this beforehand can save you a ton of time if uh, anything needs to be edited or changed later. So you're gonna to wanna to use this on anywhere where you're using the same thing over and over, like these doors. So I'm gonna create a block out of this line work uh, and I'm gonna show you how right now. So to start, you're gonna bring up the block dialog box so you can just type in block or you can type in BL and enter and this is the block definition dialog. Uh, I'm gonna run through the options here. Under name you're gonna call it something. Uh, this will help you distinguish it from other blocks as well as insert it or uh, query it later. Uh, so we're gonna call this door block. For the base point this is gonna be the point in which it's inserted at. Uh, so we're going to choose a point, and for this door here, I'm going to choose this corner of the door. That way you can place it easily uh, when you insert it. Under the objects, you're going to want to select the objects. So for this block, we're going to select these objects right here that make up our door block. And then you can choose whether to retain those objects, so it'll just leave these ones here when you're done. You can delete this, or you can convert uh, selected objects into a block. So we're going to keep that. So we're going to have a block right where we started and now you're going to be able to insert it as well. The other options you have uh, involve the behavior of the block. You can make it annotative um, so it'll scale up and down depending on the scale you're using for your drawing. You can also choose to scale uniformly uh, and this will force the X, Y, and Z scales to scale equally. Uh, I like to leave this off in case you want to stretch it for some reason and then allow exploding. This will allow you to burst them or explode them later to go back to line work. I typically leave this checked, uh, but there are cases where you don't want to allow exploding. In the description box, you can give uh, your block a description. I'm just gonna call it door typical block. And then under units, you can uh, choose a unit uh, that you're using or leave it as unitless for it to come in at the same uh, size no matter of the uh, units you're using. Uh, you can add a hyperlink to link to other drawings or objects uh, or files. Uh, you can also open this in the block editor afterwards, but since this is just a quick one, we're just going to hit OK. And you can see now we've got a block that you can copy easily by just selecting it and hitting CO to copy. You can insert it by typing I and then choosing it out of the list, door block. And then from here, you can choose rotations, scale, and insertion point. So if you do specify on screen and insert on screen, you can choose a location and rotate based on how you move your mouse. So you can see how easy it is to insert a new door right there. You can also select them easily by doing select similar. It'll select both of them. And you can see how many you've got in your drawing as well by using the count and the properties. But that's it for this quick video. Uh, obviously there is a ton more uh, with block, including adding attributes, custom uh, definitions, uh, different visibility options, the list goes on. Um, blocks are probably one of the more customizable 
objects in AutoCAD and a great tool to learn and use. Hopefully you guys like the video. Don't forget to leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you guys think. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here. To make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.